somebody that you love is suffering from multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, muscle spasms, or even migraines, pay close attention to what my next guest has to say. Now, he could dramatically change your life. Now, he is an elite expert in the field of plastic surgery, but what he always brings to this show are, what do we say, alternative solutions that are just more than skin deep. And that's what I love about Dr. G here. I am thrilled to have him back on the show. Please welcome Dr. Gary Modicky. Dr. G! You are so terrific. Okay, so we were talking the other day, and we know Botox is for wrinkles and things like that. I can't do it because I use my eyebrows too much. You know, Don't lose but the expression. I know, it, it, it ruins your expression, but you said that Botox has all kinds of other benefits. Well, I think when people say Botox, they think Hollywood actors, actresses, things like that. What right. they don't realize is that there's 2 million Botox procedures performed every year, okay, in over 20 different countries. It's not just for actors and actresses. Secondly, what they don't realize is that Botox itself can be used for other disorders. They think, oh, it's only for, for freezing for, faces or yeah, wrinkles. Yeah, wrinkles or making you look like whatever. Right. What it really does is other important things. It was originally used for people that had twitching of their eyes, okay? And they noticed by accident that it decreased wrinkles around their eyes. It wasn't used for that purpose. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, and the second thing is they think that Botox is new. They're like, this is too new. I don't want to use it. But Botox, the active ingredient, was discovered over 100 years ago. And it's been around for many, many years for other things. Wow. Okay? And uh, so what I like to tell people is how does Botox work? Right. We inject Botox, what it does is block communication between nerves and muscles. So it temporarily paralyzes the muscles for about six months. There are certain disorders where muscles lose their ability to control themselves. They start becoming spastic. They start becoming overactive. And Botox will help those people. Okay, so you said, like, like for example, multiple sclerosis. Exactly. Multiple sclerosis is a disease where the nerves start miscommunicating with the muscles. Right. The insulation around the nerves becomes defective and the it, muscle it, starts spasming. It's coated or something, right? Right. Like a myelin sheath? It's called a myelin sheath. Yeah. Okay. And um, what I'll show you here in the video is how we actually do this. But what happens uh, is... The reason I know that is my brother has MS. Well, it, there you go. And when the muscle, what happens is specific muscles will spasm. They'll use a little electrode like he has there. And you'll see on the monitor there where the electrodes are. They'll find the muscle that's misbehaving, inject Botox, and it'll paralyze it. And if you can imagine, I'm sure you've all had a cramp in your leg maybe at some point or in your foot. It's very painful. Uh, maybe even watch football where a football player will fall down. He's got a cramp in his leg. These people have cramps in their muscles all the time. And we have over 650 muscles in our bodies that can cramp. So what they do is target those muscles. Here he's targeting the calf and cause them to relax, giving these patients relief from all the pain that they have all the That's time. That's crazy. It, okay, so Gary, what other kinds of conditions um, can it help? There's a lot of different things, but one of them that some people don't talk about or should talk about is called hyperactive bladder. And this is a problem in women and men where people aren't able to hold it. I'll show you in the video, there's two nerves. One of okay. them is in the bladder and the bladder stretches. And when the bladder stretches, it tells, hey, it's time to go. But cognitively, we can say, I'm gonna hold it. Okay, but sometimes the bladder, when it becomes spastic, it doesn't want, able to hold it, and it's just what I call like a hyperactive kid. It's overactive. It wants to spasm. Ow. And then it releases when we don't want to. Okay, that can be very awkward. So it's ejected, and it's actually painless. You don't feel those injections, okay? And the other thing I want to tell you is what are the other options for women or men like this? And this is, by the way, in one in six adults have problems with this, but nobody really talks about it. But what are the other options? Surgical options with serious downtime, medications with serious side effects. This works for six to nine months, and they only have to do it twice a year. <gasps> That's crazy. Okay. One of the things that you said is that it helps migraines. Exactly. A lot of people don't know that as well. Botox can be used for chronic migraines, can be used for tension headaches, it can be used for TMJ or jaw pain, and then also it can be used wow. for what we call um, excessive sweating in the armpits, hands, and soles of the feet. And again, this is something that affects about 8 million people, okay? Are you kidding me? No, it's a very serious problem. And again, half of the people either don't Donnie know Donnie needs to exists. drink Botox. <laughs> I've seen the show. <laughs> I know. Come over here. He's, <laughs> He's always sweating. That's what, yeah. He does. Doesn't work in the forehead. And, and what is your name? Tanya. Tanya. And what is Tanya? Well, so, so to today we're going to talk about hyperhidrosis or sweating or sex of sweating. And she, if you ask her, she's going to tell you a little bit about this is not something where we, we work out and we sweat, but for people like Tanya, they sweat all the time and in very awkward situations. So what happens? Here, sit up so we can see your face. <laughs> She's so pretty. Aw, thank you. Uh, basically, it's constant. I'm always sweating, even if I'm sitting watching television. Really? It has nothing to do with being nervous. Of course, when I'm nervous, it makes it worse. It ruins my clothing, job interviews, dates. I mean, it's, 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 ho it's awful socially uh, to deal with. So you have uh, Dr. G inject you? 
this is going to be. Ow! <laughs> Does it work? Yes. Now what? that's the best part of this. What happens is just like muscles, there's nerves that innervate the sweat glands, right? So we inject the Botox, there's no more communication to the sweat glands. She doesn't sweat anymore. <gasps> Oh, mm -hmm. Shut up! <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Now we use a little teeny baby needle, and it takes about 15 seconds to do this procedure. Okay. She's, okay. Does this hurt? It shouldn't hurt. It's just a little teeny, little teeny. I guess patch. it's worth not sweating. Oh wow! Just like that. And you can also numb up the area a little bit beforehand. Ew. After these injections. Can I do it? You, no. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Well, you can have it done. I don't know if you want to do it. No. no. Just kidding. But um, this will work for her for about, like I said, six to nine months. And there's no side effects. Now, what does it feel surface. like? Pinches. Now, did Pinch. your armpit get numb? No, because remember, those are different nerves that do, it's a different nerve for sensation. This also, there's no muscles here, so all we're doing here is paralyzing the sweat glands. So themselves. the sweat glands, so it doesn't affect your limb for anything like that? Nothing like that. And like, what I like to say is, she can truly say, never let him see you sweat anymore. I see blood. <laughs> I might do a Dancing with the Stars pass out here. Don't no, I'm pass out. <laughs> One little teeny spot like that. But okay, that is fast. And men, women, doesn't matter, right? Men, women, anybody. It takes about five to seven days to take full effect. And like I said, if she really likes it, she comes back in about six to nine months and has another Unbelievable. Question. Can you do it like in your back and all oh, those hands. things in your hands? You can and... use it in your hands and your feet. The most common, particularly for people in business, if they're in business meetings and they tend to sweat, people can miss can uh, misdrew that for them being anxious or nervous. And when actually they're very confident, but their hands are just sweating. What does this cost? This procedure here will cost about eight to $900 for a treatment. Wow, and it lasts how long? Six to nine months. Unbelievable, that's crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, and it's Fun. done, right? Done. That's it. Wow, has it changed your life? Absolutely. Really, Without you're so pretty. Wow, Gary, thank you always for coming here. Don't you love hearing stuff like this? It's so <laughs> innovative, very informative. He's such a good guy. I know, he's the best. For more information about Dr. Modicky, go to our website. He's terrific. We'll be right back.